Hey, what's up, guys? We're Pierce the Veil. And you're watching the Kerrang! Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Kerrang! Podcast. This is take two of the Pierce the Veil interview. How are you doing again? How are you? <laughs> what's going on? All right. Oh, excellent. So you're uh, in the UK, turning with uh, Bring the Horizon. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, sir. How's, how's the two been going so far? been a, a good time. Tell us about it. You had a story. Yeah, you know, I, I, wanted to say it's I like said good it's, old fashioned. It's tour. a good old fashioned tour. Let me explain why. why. Uh, we've we've toured with Bring Me uh, several times in the states, Sweet so bag. it's it's good to just be back on tour with mm -hmm. these guys. Uh, we've been having a great old time. Mm -hmm. Tell us why. Why are you talking like you're in like? The I don't know. I, I feel. I just. I it's think, been a great I think, old time. I think the second take is is, is my like I'm I'm acting now. Uh, okay. I'm a method, I'm a you blow it on the second. Yeah, take. I blow it on the second. First take, fantastic. Are you like that? With we girls? never say cut. Either, yeah, I mean, yeah. To keep the real. Keep keep going. Is that how you are with the ladies as well? Yeah. First time. Uh, yeah. Boom. Oh, poor girls. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so you've been on tour with the band uh, many times. Mm -hmm. uh, how like. How did you get on with them? Was it an instant kind of friendship you formed? I think uh, it, was it each accents? member. Each member is so different, mm -hmm. yeah. like personality-wise. Yeah. Like, like yeah. look at like Ollie and then like their bass player Vegan. Like, yeah. they're like compl I don't even know how they're in the same band together. Like yeah. they're like, you know, it works though. It's like each each person puts their own little. It's like a puzzle piece, and they fit. And this and and they're yeah. all they all have their like different. If you, if you uh, went out with one of them on a night, like yeah, it would do. It would be a different too. night for like each one. Yeah, you know, it'd be a totally different thing. You know, like it's been good though. Like I mean, I think in the very beginning it was really funny. We like to kind of like they say take the piss out mm -hmm. of each other. Yeah, we, we we do that a lot. Um, I think vegan was would call he would call me, which I didn't know what that meant right. for the longest time. And then I figured it out. And I was like, that's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a nice thing to say. To but every night uh, when they get off stage, like yeah, we we, do, we when they walk off stage, I always kind of like run up to them, like, hey, what time are you guys playing? Like they're like soaking wet from sweat. And I'm like, hey, what time are you guys playing? I don't want to miss you guys. <laughs> or like last time I saw I, the drummer Nichols, I was like, you'll get them next time. You'll yeah. get them next time. And just and like you try, you'll get them next time. Next time, it's like the craziest show ever. But like we just you know we try to keep them you know we we we, we kind of joke around. Yeah, like any pranks so. planned for the last day or two? Uh, there's a couple. They they're to this day out of all the pranks we've ever had pulled on us, they got me the best. And it was in Montreal. I'll never forget it because it was the worst prank. And they did it to me. It wasn't even like to the band. They did it to me. They first song. I don't know what happened. And I and I knew something was up because they were all on on stage right watching the show, which that normally doesn't happen with a band. Just all the bands right there. Mm -hmm. First song. Apparently they poured the hottest hot sauce. They could find on my mic, just dumped it on there. So, first note of the first song, I go to do sing something, and I go, and it's just burning. Like my eyes started watering. I was like, "Oh, this sucks." <laughs> so I go and on, on our on our stage, there's always waters, and I go to look for our water, and I see them just holding all the waters. And I'm like, "You're killing me right now." So we played two songs, and finally. One of the guys runs up and like he used to get like allergic reactions to hot, hot yeah. stuff. Yeah, like it was like, it was ah. it was bad, and I was like, oh, this is the worst day of my life. Finally, one of the guys comes, opens the water, and gives it to me, and I just pug literally half of the water. It wasn't water; it, it was, was gin. Gin, because oh, they love their gin, and it's the worst. It's the worst, and it was the worst day of my life. <laughs> it goes from painfully hot to just drunk. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't like it. And it was horrible, and they're just laughing, and I was like, "You guys got me, you guys got me good." So that's a, that's a long story. Yeah, I got a lot of. It's a good story. That's yeah. a great story, though. Yeah. It, uh, nah, I, I don't like telling it because it's painful, but it was. Uh, you feel right now? I feel good. I had to. I had to see a couple counselors about it. It was. It was rough. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've been in Manchester, uh, a DVD screening of This Is the Wasteland. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about the, you know, the upcoming release? Uh, yeah, yeah, it comes out on November 25th. It's like a uh, documentary of our, um, our like last year of touring. Just like a year of world. twerking. Yeah, a year, our last year. <laughs> is that what you heard? Yeah. <laughs> or is that what I actually said? I think you said twerking. Okay. I mean, well, you gotta to be night. fair. To be fair. <laughs> so he's got a, he's got a caboose on it. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> so bad. But uh, yeah, and you know, it's just like another way to you know for our fans to see where we've been the last year and kind of follow along. And um, do you yeah, do you watch that kind of thing through uh, your fingers? Because it's, it's, it's the parts of it that are quite cringy. Or? There, there's some cringy parts. Yeah, yeah for sure. I love it. But I watch it open eyes. Like just oh, open eyes. He watches it naked. I watch it. Yeah. It was awesome. Sit no, back it was. And it relax. was. It was yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, you it's a <laughs> yeah, it gets it gets intense. Yeah, me and my me and my mates watch it without clothes on. We enjoy it very much. Best way. It's the best way to watch. It. Recommend. Cool. So you had fans come to the screening. Uh, what was the reaction from them like? It was awesome. It, I think we we actually we ended up surprising them. They didn't think we were going to be there. They thought it was just a private screening, and mm -hmm. um, they walk into the little movie theater that we had. And you and, had a towel. And we, and we had a towel for all of them. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just little towelettes. What are these for? Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. Um, but no, they were surprised. They were really stoked. I think they were... They were we, we, got, we stuck around as long as we could, because like, yeah. we had to get a soundtrack, but we wanted to see like the reactions the, and stuff. Because no one had ever seen it before, except for like our parents. And, like, oh, right? So we were like, you know, we... We, we gave them to, towels, too. Cool. Yeah. We wanted to see their like their first reaction. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, we're good. like watching. I'm like, is that funny? Is it? Was funny? that good? <laughs> Am I good enough? Am I good? Is that cool? Cool. All right. Okay. See you guys. Cool. So it's kind of summed up your last twelve months. And in this week's Quran, if you'd like to uh, yeah, let's, pick up the issue, uh, we've had this. a look through the uh, the archives. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. Of your uh, photo album. Uh, was it fun to revisit it. those shots for the? Uh, yeah, this is a this is a cool feature. Yeah, that's us. Look at that. Look at that. Look how good we look. <laughs> There's me looking at scrapbook. There's me. There's me. There's me. There's me. It's Vic getting punched in the face. No, this is actually really cool. Like I, I, I think uh, looking back, like when we're doing the uh, the actual interview for this and stuff, we we're looking at the photos on our phones, and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. Like, like meeting Phil from Pantera, like at the Kerrang Awards. Yeah. Like it's nuts. Like things like that you kind of like forget for like a second, and then mm -hmm. someone reminds you about it, and you're like, wow, that was awesome. It's like us with like a lot of our friends, like you know, all time low, let live, to not alive. It's just like a lot of good times, yeah. a lot of good memories. You know. tell, tell us about the uh, Ninja Tales. Uh, I don't know. This one right here. Last Halloween. Turtle power. Turtle power. Yeah, we did a uh, last Halloween. We always do like we always say we're never gonna dress up for Halloween, mm -hmm. and then literally we didn't. Uh, that was just well. That, this is our this is our normal thing. Yeah. We normally we were wear all that. going to bed. <laughs> no, <laughs> <Onesies>. <laughs> those are our onesies. Yeah, but it, we we always say we're never gonna dress up, and then literally like an hour before we play, we have our like TM. We, we need turtle yeah, costumes. Now. We need this, this, and this, and we just stress out everyone, and, and it was awesome because we found those turtle costumes, and then we had our entire crew dress as the foot. So they were all in like ninja outfits. Wow. So it was like so really, really like setting up the stage. Yeah, like ninjas. they're just rolling around like it was. It was a lot of fun. That that show was that show was awesome. What so. did you do for this? Uh, Halloween? This year was a bit of a fail for us. Really? I I disagree. Well, I, we couldn't I, prepare because we once we didn't again, get to go we came home. as tell boy. We, we came in. <laughs> we came and we did the same exact thing. We we uh, but we ended up actually wearing what we normally wear, just a little bit more ridiculous. We 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 dressed as cholos. Yeah, right? just like yeah. complete Mexican. Gangsters. gangsters. It was pretty. Uh, yeah. We had like mustaches, shades. What a photo Did you do while you're talking? Yeah. Oh yeah, top of us. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. We, it was, our intro was California Love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To that. Let's just. Uh, you can just take a look at that. Right. We look fantastic. Yeah. We can see that. Yeah, we can see that, but it looked amazing. Good. I'm not sure if anyone mustaches. quite got it. Yeah. But we had a good time. Yeah. It was I, yeah. I don't, I don't know. If, it was don't better know than if, nothing. I don't know if the kids. In, I think it was in Newcastle. They were kind of like, "What does that mean?" Yeah. You know. We we'll get them next time. Yeah. We'll get them next time. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, uh, Movember started. Uh, oh yeah. I heard about that. to raise awareness for, you know, cancer research. And You're stuff. doing a great job. Yeah. Well. <laughs> this is three years. This is well, too long. <laughs> <laughs> but with those uh, fake mustaches, you yeah. could have raised raised a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, we should have. Uh, should have kept it on. And actually, the, the next morning, they were we, we, drew, we drew them on with like, what was it like makeup stuff? Yeah, it was like eyeliner. And, and I woke up the next morning and I tried. I thought I wiped it off, but I still had like loco on my neck and like a dirty, just residue on my. I was like, oh god. So the next day, everyone thought it was like, yeah. <laughs> everyone thought I was just some some bum, just like. Why is it loco on his neck? Good lord. <laughs> um. So after this. Uh, you, you sort of begin work on uh, the follow-up to Clyde with the Sky. Yeah. Um, it, 
But do you write on the road or is it something where you sit down and concentrate? It's already written. We're going to call it Booty Jams. 2014. Booty Jams 2014. It's going to be great. Just dance club songs. Cool. <laughs> there's only one line per song. And, you know, I just pick something like, yeah. Tonight there's a party in the dark. That is. And that's, that's it. That's the time. I'm going to repeat that. Nice. Yeah. Over and over. It's like, it's going to be great. Does it have a Euro dance feel to it? Yeah, yeah. We're trying to, you know, we're trying to just sell records and, you know, try to just make as much money as possible. <laughs> <laughs> So how are you, after this tour, how are you going to see out the rest of uh, 2013? Um, yeah, we're just, we're, Riding. as soon as we get back, set up the studio, mm -hmm. um, we have a new room waiting for us at home, uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, the parents are working on something for us, which is really stoked about. Maybe and, a uh, wallpaper. Yeah, a lot of towels. <laughs> yeah. A lot of towels. You need a lot of towels, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and, great, uh, yeah. Just, just yeah, we're going to just lock ourselves in there. Yeah. Right. Do you have a firm? end date in mind or is it just going to finish when you... Hopefully soon is, is what we'll say. Yeah, <laughs> just delightfully vague. Oh, yeah, as <laughs> vague delightful as possible. Yeah. Delightfully vague, delightfully yeah. Delightfully tacky. Delightfully That's delightfully a vague. title for a song. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Boom. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, man. Uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, you've got uh, Brixton tonight. Uh, yeah, uh, again. Yeah, so it's the second night at Brixton. Have you uh, been to Nando's over the road? Oh, you bet your buns on. Yeah, hot sauce. You bet your sexy so you ass. Can get some I tried. Sauce. I tried to bring some home. I tried to bring some home for my friends, and I forgot that it was in my um, my carry on, mm. and they took it from me. Hose yourself. I hosed myself. Yeah, I was so mad, and I was mm. like, "Come on, it's not." It's hot sauce. <laughs> you tried to reason. I tried like, to. I was like, I was like, "Come on," and I tried to show him a little bit of. I was like, "Hey, how much you know?" And he's like, "Sir, I Have can't. I can't." Have you met uh, the Queen? <laughs> yeah. Have you met, Have you met <laughs> George <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Yeah, I tried or to. his friend, yeah, he George took, Washington. And he also took my towels. He took my towels and my hot sauce. You only had two towels. On I only had two towels. towels. You yeah. had splits. Yeah, I was so bummed. But no, I was really, I was, yeah, Nando's hot sauce. No, Nando's and Wagga Mama, those guys figured it out. Mm -hmm. They figured it out. Good for them. It's cool. You should yeah. uh, try and hit them up for a... I tried. Endorsement. Tried. Tweeted them. <laughs> I'm gonna have my own column in, in Korean. <laughs> See, he's got like a full <laughs> like like a shirt, a hat. <laughs> yeah. Just Nando's hot sauce. Oh God, that, instead of confetti, we spray like Nando's. Thing, just because they get paid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna be me with really sad. full Nando's. Crying because you've had the yeah. hot sauce. Oh man. That's and what we're gonna do. Instead yeah. of confetti, we're gonna just spray Nando's hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers! <laughs> on the stage instead of water. Nando's. Cool. That's a thought I'm gonna take to, uh, to bed tonight. Yeah. Just to Sorry yeah, help that. me to see. It's alright.